lot of feedback on my scientific nomenclature update on the Smith Eye Anatha Hamori debate about who's who and what's what. And the most feedback that I received said I didn't understand any of that. It was way too scientific. So I decided to do a follow up video to break it down a little bit further. Now, as I stated in that other video, I received the original French manuscript of the study done by Federic Clayton and Jean Michel Verdez. And it reads a little something like this Resume, Brachypelma Anatha, Nueva Spicie, in Brachypelma Amorai, Nueva Spicie, Mexique, Montre de Cipherens, Biomorphologique. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm trying to act serious. <laughs> okay. Different says biomorphologique avec pis metai bien que visuellemente proqueste si mete de mieres pepe lepio. Pardon my French. What does this mean for us in English? Let me break it down for you. Basically, I worked very hard to translate the paper into English. The abstract begins, Brachypelma anatha, new species, and Brachypelma humori, new species of Mexico, shows biomorphological differences with B. smithi, although visually close to the latter. It goes on to break down the anatomical differences. What does this mean for us in English? Here's the bottom line. Brachypelma smithi was a species that was first described over a hundred years ago, and it covered a really broad range of Mexico. Since then, Smith Eye has been subdivided into three different species in the past, Anatha, Hamori, and Smith Eye. What has now occurred upon closer inspection is that Brachypelma Smith Eye is still Smith Eye, contrary to the widespread rumors. Anatha is now Although it has some minor morphological differences, it's still considered close enough to be also Brachypelma smithi. And Brachypelma hemori is its own species, still Brachypelma hemori. The big question. Now people are going to be asking me, well, which one do I have? If you had a smithi, you still have a smithi. If you had an anatha, now you have a smithi. So congratulations. Some of you people just gained a new Brachypelma smithi. That is the breakdown on the new scientific nomenclature of Brachypelma smithi versus Anatha versus Hemori. I hope this was a little more clear and I will be doing more updates on the other species that I talk about in my first video and I hope you guys like my fish. I just moved some new aquariums in, I did some moving around and I hope you guys like this one and I'll see you next time.